Uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Sigrun. Um, I edited my very first Wikipedia article in 2010, and I've never considered myself a proper Wikimedian. Um, but the projects have been a part of my private and professional life ever since that. Um, so when I joined the board of Wikimedia Norway in 2018, I came to the table with some basic knowledge of Wikipedia and the Wikimedia universe, but my main contribution to the board was my background, both as a volunteer, um, a board member and an employee in various organizations, as well as my knowledge of the glam sector from my public government job within culture and archives. Um, in many ways, Wikimedia Norway has turned out to be the space where I can bring together and draw on the experiences from all my previous jobs, engagements, interests, and even my education. So, um, Wikimedia Norway works very closely with volunteers and civil society, as well as with the Norwegian glam and education sector. So here I have some insight and experiences, both from work and volunteering in Norway and in countries in the global south. Um, and this event is especially uh, you know, close to my heart because through my master's thesis in social anthropology, um, this was on the role of bilingual education in processes of ethnic revitalization in the Ecuadorian highlands. Um, and in this work, I learned firsthand that the language we grow up speaking is such an important part of who we are, of our identity. For many indigenous people, their native tongue is also an important ethnic marker in a society dominated by a different culture and language. So strengthening an indigenous and also, of course, underrepresented languages online, such as presence and use on the Wikimedia projects, can contribute to keep this language current and alive for new generations. So this is important not only for the language and the people who speak it, but also for the history this language and culture represent. Working in archives, this last part is also quite um, important to me. So um, Wikimedia Norway's main goal is to increase knowledge equity on the Wikimedia projects. Um, working to strengthen the indigenous and underrepresented languages is one of the main focus areas to reach this goal. Another one is gender equity. Um, and knowledge equity and free access to knowledge and education is something that is very close to my heart and has been ever since I first started my studies and got involved in different student organizations uh, involved in particularly this issue. So today I have been given the great honor to welcome you all to the second day of the Arctic Knot Conference 2021. I have been watching this conference take shape from the sideline. And I must say I am in complete awe of both the organizers and all the contributors. We in um, Wikimedia Norway, both the, the staff that you have gotten to know well and the board, we are so proud to be hosting and to be able to highlight such an important topic, the future of indigenous and underrepresented languages. We're also very grateful to our fabulous partners in the conference team. Uh, and I want to thank uh, Wikimedia UK and Wikimedia Deutschland, especially for their efforts throughout the conference. So based on yesterday, I'm pretty sure we have a very interesting day ahead of us. Uh, yesterday, we heard a lot of interesting presentations about different language editions of Wikimedia. Um, uh, Wikipedia, sorry. We heard about what role the sister projects of Wikipedia also play for indigenous and underrepresented languages. And we learned about technical solutions to support underrepresented and indigenous languages. And there were also a lot of discussions on community building from both the volunteer and the academic perspective. It's very interesting. Um, and the vision for this conference is envision the future of your language community. And it's really great to see how this is coming to life and how we're all discussing this topic together. Our goal with the conference is to look at the future of indigenous and underrepresented languages and their presence on news on the Wikimedia projects. And the conference is already providing space and focus for the different language communities to connect and to learn from each other and collaborate. 
Um, and hopefully this is something that we can all bring with us in our future work as well. All of us in Wikimedia Norway, we are very eager and committed to support the presence of indigenous and underrepresented languages um, on the Wikimedia projects. And we're also very excited to be part of the UNESCO Global Task Force for the planning of the decade of indigenous languages. So we have a lot uh, to look forward to in the years to come. Now, everyone, please enjoy the rest of the conference and keep up all the good conversations. Thank you.